Reports out of China within the last 24 hours say that BYD batteries, the Blade battery, has turned up at German, at Tesla's German Gigafactory, ready to go straight into Tesla Model Y vehicles so that they can ramp production of the Model Y. Hello my friends, welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking, great to see you. What a great day it is today when you hear of stories like this because this is going to enable Tesla to get more vehicles out the door. Obviously, one of the bottlenecks for Tesla is battery supply. And what has happened here is Tesla has thought, well, we're using CAT Alpha batteries in Gigafactory Shanghai in China. And we're using LG Chem. So right now, Tesla is using LG Chem to supply them with their 2170 ternary batteries, which are for their long-range model and the performance model in their China-made cars. And CATL provides them with lithium-ion phosphate batteries for the standard range vehicles. So rather than pu pulling BYD into that mix and confusing the situation there, instead, BYD have reportedly shipped batteries to Gigafactory Berlin in Germany, where they'll go in base model Y vehicles. You should see Tesla start to ramp up production over the next few months. I mean, Elon Musk has said they're going to 5x production by the end of the year. I'm not sure if that's feasible, but if that can happen as a result of these additional batteries coming into Gigafactory Berlin, what that will mean is that Tesla will take first place. First place from who? Well, right now, Tesla has the highest selling premium SUV in Europe, not electric, just any vehicle, premium SUV. However, it is in second place to the Audi A3 when it comes in the premium model of cars, but it's only 10,000 behind. So Tesla sold 41,000, nearly 42,000 model Ys in Europe over the first six months of the year. The Audi A3 was 52,000. So Tesla only needs to ramp up production a little, little bit in order to take first place in Europe. What's that going to mean? Well, panic. Panic for the European automakers. They're already panicking. Why are they panicking? Well, Geely today said they'll be selling their vehicles, their new electric cars in Germany by the end of the year. Who else has said that? Xpeng, Neo, BYD. The list goes on and on and on. What else do we know about what's happening with BYD's Blade batteries? Well, first of all, a lot of people think this is not true. They think this is a fake story. They think it's made up. They think that, well, it's going to be too much work for Tesla to use BYD's Blade battery. But you know what I'd say about that? I'd say, did Tesla figure it out pretty quick with, with CATLs, lithium-ion phosphate batteries? They did. They worked that out really quickly. I don't know how they did that, but they didn't take years like, well, you know, other manufacturers have taken. It's taken other manufacturers years in order to work out LFP, or they've said they're going to, and they haven't yet. They said they're going to sell LFPs. They're not doing it yet because, well, I don't know what the holdup is, but it takes them longer than Tesla to get things to happen. So if Tesla can make it work for CATL's lithium-ion phosphate batteries in their vehicles very quickly, I don't see why they can't do the same thing with BYD's blade battery. I mean, really, it's not that complicated. So I do think this report is correct. I don't think this is FUD. A lot of Tesla fans are saying it's false. I don't think it is false. I think it's correct. Reports are that the first batch of Tesla vehicles equipped with BYD Blade batteries will roll off the assembly line within one month. Apparently, they're actually going to roll off the assembly line from Gigafactory Berlin by the end of August. So what are we looking at? I mean, that's three weeks, less three weeks or less. So we'll know if this report is true within, say, a month for certain. Apparently, Tesla's factory in Shanghai has no plans at all to use BYD's Blade batteries for now. At present, Tesla's Berlin plant mainly produces the Model Y, which means that BYD's Blade batteries will first be equipped on the base model Model Y vehicles at Gigafactory Berlin. And to be honest, I would really consider getting that car if I was in Europe, because BYD's Blade batteries are really, really good batteries. And they're the kind of battery technology that it really is a benefit to consumers in the long run. Why do I say that? While the Blade battery, or LFP batteries in particular, will give you about three times as many charges as lithium ternary batteries. So realistically, the batteries in these packs are said to last 
for over 1 million miles now. I mean, for example, to get an idea on the, how much BYD believes in these batteries, they, have, they offer a lifetime warranty, a lifetime. Not the eight years, 160,000 kilometers you get from every other manufacturer, a lifetime warranty. So BYD is extremely confident these batteries will last. And from what I've heard, they do. People are actually taking batteries, old BYD lithium iron phosphate batteries out of things like buses and commercial vehicles, and then use them for energy storage when the vehicle is at its end of life. So clearly they're actually a good product. In an interview with state-owned media outlet CGTN's host Kai Young Chin, in early June, BYD Executive Vice President and Director of the Automotive Engineering Research Institute, Leon Yubo, said BYD would soon supply batteries to Tesla. Apparently that deal is for 10 gigawatt hours of blade batteries over the next 12 months. So right now at Gigafactory Shanghai, 70% of batteries supplied to that factory use lithium iron phosphate batteries from CATL. The other 30% use lithium ternary batteries from LG Chem. And CNEVPost.com said that a source at Tesla's Shanghai plant said it hasn't seen any BYD batteries on the production line at the plant and hasn't heard of any plans for Tesla to put them into Model Y or Model 3 vehicles in China. So it seems as though that they're not going into China-made vehicles, which is what I thought would happen, but in fact, they're going into German-made Model Y vehicles in order to help ramp up production at the German Gigafactory, which I think is a smart move. Now, this is quite an interesting little situation we're in here, isn't it? I mean, we've got these two companies, the two biggest electric vehicle manufacturers on the face of the earth, obviously Tesla and BYD. They're fighting it out on who's going to win this year when it comes to electric vehicle deliveries. Now, if you're talking about pure electric vehicle deliveries this year, I think it's pretty clear Tesla will win that. But if you're talking about including plug-in hybrids into the mix, it's gonna be a close, close race. So BYD, in theory here, are actually helping Tesla to beat BYD. I mean, realistically, if you look at it that way, if you look at it for bragging rights, global, ba bla global bragging rights, this is sort of helping Tesla and hindering BYD's quest to be the world's largest electric vehicle manufacturer. But I love it. I love the fact that BYD are not acting in a scarcity mentality. They're thinking, you know what? That's fine. The more companies that buy our batteries, if they're in Tesla vehicles, people are going to say, you know what? If the batteries are good enough for Tesla vehicles, then BYD must make good batteries. So maybe I'll consider one of their cars. And Tesla's saying, you know what? We don't care if that happens. That's fine. BYD do make good product, but we need more batteries. We need to sell more Model Ys. We've got, you know, probably hundreds of thousands of people in Europe that want a Tesla vehicle. How are we going to get them in people's hands? We need more cars. How do we get more batteries? We get them from BYD. So what if that happens and people think BYD batteries are good? They are good. This is, in my view, the right way to approach the situation. Don't let politics stop you from making more EVs. And in my view, Tesla and BYD are doing exactly that. They're setting an example for everyone else. Don't let politics stop you from making more EVs. You know, don't let scarcity mode prevent you from delivering as many electric cars to the public as is humanly possible. That, in my view, is awesome news. And I love what's going on here. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think this is a bad move or a good move? Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so. Have a great day. Bye-bye.